Welcome back everyone. You may be in a situation where for some reason you can't update your specific iPhone and the specific issue I'm talking about here is unable to update iOS. Now this has happened to me a billion thousand times and it's very annoying every single time I have to do it. So the process to essentially fix this, what I did personally was even if I fracture reset on my phone and all that stuff, it didn't work, which is so crazy. But what I ended up doing in one case was actually go ahead and go into my specific settings app, just like so. I then went ahead and scroll down to general. I went on iPhone storage, which is right here. And I essentially deleted the update that I had and re-downloaded that specific update. So right here, it would have said something like iOS 15 in my case. If it's a smaller update, you can scroll down or whatever. And all you need to do is find that specific update. You want to click on it and you want to click delete update or uninstall update or whatever it tells you down here. And you want to delete that specific download. Then what you want to do at that point is you want to go back and you want to click software update and you want to re-download that specific software version. It's not going to work every single time, but most probably this is what the issue is. If it didn't, if you have enough storage, then this is really the only other thing you could do. Now, let's say you went over here, you went on iPhone storage, and you literally see that all of your storage is taken up. You maybe have like a couple hundred megabytes left or something. Well, you're not going to be able to download the update, but there can be issues when you install the update as well. So what you're going to have to do here is go through all of your apps, go through whatever, and delete or offload whatever you can't, whatever you don't want to use, or whatever the case is. You want to essentially do that here. It's not perfect. Like I mentioned, this is probably going to help you out more than the first thing, but this is another thing that I did on my iPhone 6S Plus. Now, funny enough, all I had to do was delete one app. I literally went over, I found like Temple Run or something, and I deleted that app, and I tried it again. It was so frustrating, but I actually ended up going through with it. And it was very weird. It was very random. So that's how really all I had to do. I deleted an app or two and it ended up working in my 6S Plus specifically. It was no apps. So that was something else that was very, very crazy. So those are essentially two things you can do. If all those things fail, you can always factory reset your device. That is also a possibility. But that's essentially what I would recommend doing in this specific case. If you guys have any other questions or anything, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, that would be so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out till then.